Hello, my name is Ubed Malik and this is my YouTube channel. First of all, let me thank you guys for the so much love and appreciation that you gave me for my first video. So I decided to make my second video as soon as possible. And here I am back with my second YouTube video. If you haven't watched my first video, go check it out and you'll find it useful. In this video, I'm going to tell you eight things that must go into your visa application so that you can get your visa smooth and easy. But before that, let me congratulate you guys because you watched my first YouTube video on how to make a study application and guess what? You got the admission offer. Great job ladies and gentlemen on making the application and now it's time to make the visa application. So guys, let's get your visa application fixed but before that, let me give you a pro tip. So in my personal case, when I came to Norway, I got my visa in about 10 days but it might not be the case. It might take up to two months so as soon as you get the admission start sit down and start making your visa application in order to avoid anything bad happening at a later stage so here are the eight things that must go into your visa application number one you must be able to document that you have been granted admission to some school or college or university and that you have the admission letter that you're going to attach with your visa application Step number two, you need to log into the visa application form and fill the application form. It's a very easy, self-explanatory form. You need to provide information about yourself, your guardian, your siblings, uh, some basic information. And once you're done filling the application form, you move to step number three, which is paying your visa application fee. That is around 5,300 Norwegian kroners, equivalent to 650 US dollars. And once you submit your fee, you will get your receipt of submitting the fee. And that also needs to be attached to your visa application. Step number four is getting your passport. If you don't have it, get one now because when you're going to submit your document, you also need to submit your passport because your visa is going to be stamped on your passport. So it's very important. Fix your passport. Number five, along with your application, you need to submit two passport size pictures with white background. It's really important that the pictures are sharp and clear with white background. Otherwise, there's a possibility that the visa might get rejected. Number six, and this is very important. Make sure you understand it well. If you don't understand it, please go back and watch it again. So number six is that you need to provide an evidence or proof that you have 121,000 Norwegian crones in a Norwegian bank of your school or college that you got your admission offer. It's equivalent to 15,000 US dollar and it covers your living expenses in Norway. So this is what happens. Once you get your admission in Norway, you deposit an amount of 121,000 Norwegian kroners or 15,000 US dollar in your school's account in Norway. This money will basically cover your living expense once you come to Norway and you'll get a receipt or letter from your school that they have received the money and that letter is supposed to be attached with your visa application showing the embassy or the consulate that you have got your back covered in Norway and that will help you to get your visa. Number seven, you must document that you have a place to live in Norway. So this is what happens. Once you get admission in Norway, your school sends you a list of housing units that you can choose from. Once you choose your housing unit, you sign the housing contract and that contract uh, it's supposed to be attached to the visa application. Don't worry, you don't have to deposit any money at this point. It's just a security that you show to the consulate or the embassy that you have a place to live in Norway. Last and number eight is the signed QDI checklist. This checklist basically is a list of all the documents that you're providing. It states all your documents like passport, your financing and everything and you need to check mark all of these documents that you're providing with the application so that the consulate can see that, okay, he or she is providing all these documents with the application. So these are the eight documents that you must attach with your visa application in order to avoid any delays in the processing time. Guys, I hope you liked the video. If you still wonder about something, just comment in the section below and I'll be happy to answer. Once again, if you haven't watched my first video, go check it out and you'll find it useful and also subscribe my channel i'm coming up with more great content until then and be great